everyone. I hope you well. I welcome you to Citizen Concerned, where we remind you to beware of the comrades. Please subscribe, like, and share the video with other citizens. Please note that today we just compiled a bunch of videos for all people who love the ANC and the EFF. You know that these communists love Cuba, Venezuela, and the old Russia with its Marxism and communism. The health system is the most efficient, is the most responsive in Cuba. It trains thousands of doctors. 25 pesos, un dollar, un dollar americano, 25 pesos. Aquí hay 36 dólares. 36 dólares. 36. 36 dólares. La mitad de, del salario de un mes. De un médico. Un médico. Gana aquí, 50 dólares. Aquí está la mitad del salario de un médico. En un bolsillo. En un mes. En un mes. Aquí. There is 23 medical schools in Cuba. Not only for the people of Cuba only, but for the entire world. El día que me lo hago, se tengo. Va a venir el médico, va, ah, un promedio de casi 900, casi 40. Did you catch that? This guy makes more in one day than a doctor makes in a month, and he's a taxi driver. Well, he's actually a trained engineer, but engineers make even less than doctors. El sistema nacional de salud cubano está destruido. Los consultorios están en muy malas condiciones. Los hospitales abarrotados. La gente muriéndose en los pasillos, los pacientes sin oxígeno, hospitales sin corriente, eléctrica. No sé si se si ha visto en lo que suben las personas a las redes sociales, eso es pura realidad. Look at the issues that they glorify without them knowing what it all means in a communist country. And there's a ratio of one doctor per 155 people. Yo trabajo ocho horas como licenciada profesional que soy de enfermería y diario. Yo no gano 50 pesos, no gano 12 o diario. Cuba's model, whether it's a sort of socialist democratic model, could have been more rooted in democracy. Uh, they, they talk about issues of human rights. They talk about you know, freedom of association, freedom of speech. I watched you talk at the EFF on Castro event, and I thought to myself, wow, as an op opposition leader, leader in your ilk, speaking in a place like Cuba, that would not be allowed. Are there lessons that the Cubans can learn from South Africa? Of course, we exist to learn from each other. Uh, I think that uh, if they think their model works for them, uh, I'm not the one to impose on, on them what should be uh, the type of political systems uh, in, in Cuba. And uh, they are the ones who can choose which direction uh, uh, they want to take. Mr. Floyd Shibambu thinks he's very, very sophisticated believing in this rubbish Cuban economy. The Cuban economy is going through the most, guys. It's not nice to be in Cuba and it's not nice to be an educated Cuban in Cuba. So we stand as the EFF to support and uh, speak much more positively about El Comandant Fil Fidel Castro. When I showed up, I was pretty excited to see what street food was on offer. But all I could find was this. Just this. Ham sandwiches. Everywhere. But we can talk today that Cuba's unemployment officially stands at less than 3%. Here's a typical scene in a Cuban eatery. Too many employees in an empty establishment with empty shelves. They're just waiting for food deliveries from the government and putting in their eight hours so that they can go home. They get paid the same whether they sell one plate of food or 50. And more than 99% of Cubans are literate, meaning that they are able to read and write. But we can talk today that Cuba's unemployment officially stands at less than 3%. The reason why taxi drivers make so much more than doctors is because they have private licenses. Their salaries are not set by the state, and they can charge tourists high prices. I paid $25 to get from the airport into Havana. And in that 30 minutes, this driver made more than an average monthly salary of a Cuban, which is $20. Cuba will never rise because they chose communism. 
Cuba will never improve because they chose the same policies that the ANC wants, the same policies that the EFF wants. But we can talk today that Cuba's unemployment officially stands at less than 3%. You get highly trained workers leaving their trade to go do remedial work in the private sector. This guy's an engineer, but he's cooking in a private restaurant. But we can talk today that Cuba's unemployment officially stands at less than 3%. These guys are accountants by trade, but are making a killing driving around tourists on taxi bikes. This woman is a nurse, but she hasn't worked in a hospital in years. This guy is an electrical engineer, but he opened up a barber shop in his house and makes 10 times more than he would in his field of study. There is nothing worth the suffering that comes with the socialism and communism. Fidel Castro, Mao Zedong, Vladimir Lenin, and Joseph Stalin. These are all evil people that destroyed the lives of people. But Julius and Floyd act like this is something for us to learn from. Food and electricity are used as weapons to silence the people and keep them obedient. What is it that makes Malema and Shibambu so proud of Cuba? A dream that is mostly associated with the so-called developed nations. Cuba has got a GTB ratio which is far much lesser in terms of per capita as compared to many countries that have got such developmental indicators. But Cuba is the most developed nation in terms of the impact on human life. Cubans use these cards to go to the storage houses to get their monthly rations. El aceite que es menos cantidad, los granos que son menos, el azúcar que es menos, ni hay jabón de baño, ni de, de, de lavar, ni detergente. Bueno, cada día las menos cosas. And because that is a socialist victory and a socialist achievement, that is what we want to be in South Africa. Sobrevivimos gracias a ese a ese mercado oscuro, ese mercado subterráneo. Cuando yo bajo de mi casa y cruzo la calle bar, para comprar el periódico, ya estoy cometiendo el primer delito de receptación. Porque ese señor anciano que está vendiendo me el periódico me lo está vendiendo a sobreprecio. Ya tienen arreglado esto con con la persona que trabaja en el estanquillo que le guarda los periódicos, se los vende. That is what we want to be in South Africa. We tend to associate black markets with dangerous activities. But in Cuba, people sell illegal popsicles or newspapers, not to get rich, but just to survive. We want to be like Cuba and South Africa. We unashamedly want to pursue a progressive socialist agenda that will bring about free education for all. Many go abroad to the United States to send their pay back to their families, like their mother who left two years ago. And we want to caution the people of Cuba that the flirtations of the Americans must not fool you into believing that they are going to ever be your friends. Thousands of migrants from Cuba are risking everything to seek refuge here in the United States following soaring inflation and political turmoil back home. This is the largest, fastest wave of Cuban migration since the 1980s, which continues to have a powerful ripple effect on our history and our politics right here at home. In fact, Cubans are now outpacing Central American migrants for the very first time in recent history. That is what we want to be in South Africa. By land and by sea. We have another one that's left side. One of the largest mass migrations in American history. Son miles los migrantes que están saliendo. Nearly 80,000 Cubans crossing the southern border in the last six months. That is what we want to be in South Africa. What goes through your mind when you see tons of people, dozens of people inside one of these boats? Um, I try to have some sympathy. What kind of situation in my life? would I have to be in uh, to risk this journey, get on a makeshift vessel that looks like it was made in somebody's garage. Which is why many are choosing a different path. That is what we want to be in South Africa. Cubans are tired of socialism and communism and they took to the streets recently. It's not the first time that they've taken to the streets. Soon and very soon, capitalism will free the people of Cuba. Hopefully. Airana Hernandez crossed into the U.S. from Mexico Por la noche, cruzamos. just two and a half months ago. De pie. That is what we want to be in South Africa. While eight months pregnant. Y así fue. You were walking on foot 
pregnant. Her husband, Raul Prado, was on house arrest back in Cuba after being detained in anti-government protests last July. That is what we want to be in South Africa. Raul fled to Miami on a pre-pandemic visitor's visa. COVID, he says, created the perfect storm. Impossibly high prices, a shortage of basic goods, and a political environment that made him fear for his son, Bastian. That is what we want to be in South Africa. What is it that you didn't want your son to see? I didn't want him to grow up in a place where his family doesn't have a voice. That is what we want to be in South Africa. We want to be like Cuba and South Africa. We want to be like Cuba and South Africa. Hay malestar, está, el pueblo está irritado. Yo estoy irritada. Los mosquitos uno no puede dormir bien. We want Porque to be like Cuba and South Africa. No tienen así. Pisado. No We tienen want pisao. to be like Cuba, Cuba and no South Africa. Pero bueno, es lo que le permitimos lo que nos toca. We want to be like Cuba and South Africa. We want to be like Cuba and South Africa. That is why we stand tall here in South African Parliament to say that the Cuban flag must fly forever. The Cuban flag must never be undermined with the passing away of Comandante Fidel Castro. Argentina survived and they've begun to sort their country out. They too were communists, but they have chosen a different path. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kat Laurent. This is Citizen Concerned. And until next time, beware of the comrades.